On behalf of our student athletes, coaches, and staff, we are delighted to begin working with, alongside Dr. Bumgarner, who is one of the nation's top athletic administrators and a person of great character and integrity. With her diverse experience, she will resonate with our student athletes, coaches, campus community, alumni, and friends to grow the Santa Clara brand and to advance Bronco athletics toward an improved standard of excellence. To donors and alumni, thank you for your commitment to Santa Clara Athletics. Today is a great day for Santa Clara and its athletic department, and we're glad to celebrate with you. Today is a time for this community to rally around Santa Clara to build a better and more vibrant athletic department in an effort to promote and bolster the university's bold and ambitious goals. Attend games, buy season tickets, give generously, and get others to do the same. To our coaches and staff, the renewed commitment to athletics kicks up a notch today. Thank you for your devotion to your craft and to those you teach, coach, and mentor. To the student athletes present, our efforts are designed to provide you with a first class student athlete experience and to teach the Jesuit philosophy through athletic programs that drive home the lifelong lessons of sportsmanship, discipline, teamwork, preparation, and selflessness. It is my honor to introduce someone you all know very well as soccer star and Santa Clara alumni, Olympian and World Cup champion. A two-time All-American, Brandy Chastain led Santa Clara to its first ever women's soccer postseason appearance in 1989, scoring 10 goals and leading the Broncos into the national semifinals and a final ranking of number three in the nation. Brandy was named the National Collegiate Player of the Year that season and was among the nation's leading goal scorers. She went on to become a prominent figure in U.S. soccer, playing on the gold medal winning West team at the 1993 Olympic Sports Festival. She helped the U.S. national team win an Olympic gold medal at the first Olympic women's soccer competition at the 1996 Summer Games in Atlanta. In the summer of 1999, Brandy helped lead the United States to its second Women's World Cup title and to a silver medal at the 2000 Olympics in Sydney, Australia. She appeared 192 times for the U.S. from 1991 to 2004. Brandy now serves as a volunteer assistant coach for the women's soccer team here at Santa Clara and is a nationally known ambassador for soccer and youth sports. More importantly, she is a proud Bronco and a vocal advocate for Santa Clara Athletics. Ladies and gentlemen, Brandy Chastain. <laughs> Santa Clara University to be at the top of everyone's list of places where they'd love for their young kids to come to become men and women, to become competent and capable and compassionate. People who care, but people who also know that playing athletic is a wonderful opportunity for them to develop those skills. And as a volunteer coach and a proud alum, I am so happy to step onto this campus every day. And to be honest with you, I, I walk around campus and I think, this is the most amazing place I've ever been. And now with the Stevens uh, Soccer Training Center, it, it's, it's a dream come true. And I love being here with the female soccer team. I love being able to learn from my husband who coaches the women's team, Jerry Smith. But I'm also inspired by that's by Santa Clara University in itself and what it wants to do and what it wants to achieve. And we are making a commitment and a statement today about what athletics means to Santa Clara University, not as an athletic department, but what it means to the whole university. And what we can do on this side of the campus will make a difference on that side of the campus. And for that, I'm very proud. And I wanted to congratulate Renee on this position. And I think sometimes change is very scary for people. Very, makes them unsure and makes them nervous. But I like change. Change is an opportunity. Change is, a, is a, for me, a reason to go out, put my cleats on, and get better. So I look forward to the next chapter of Santa Clara University Athletics. And we will be here to do anything you need to help you make us the best we can be. So thank you. Thank you, Brandon. 
Randy, let's learn more now about our new director of athletics. Renee joins us from uh, her post at Syracuse University as the deputy athletic director and chief of staff, where she served since 2011. Prior to joining Syracuse, she worked for more than two decades at the University of Oregon, where she helped build Oregon into a national powerhouse. Renee first began her involvement with NCAA Division I athletics as a four-year letter winner and team captain her sophomore year for the University of Southern California's nationally ranked golf team. Throughout her tenure at the University of Oregon, she rose from interim senior women's administrator to executive senior associate athletic director, assisting with the daily operations of the 19 sport department, setting strategic planning goals, and managing multi-million dollar projects. While at Syracuse, she managed the daily operations of eight varsity sports with an $80 million budget. She oversaw fundraising, athletic communications, marketing and promotions, trademark and licensing, and the multimedia partnership with IMG and the Nike relationship. In addition to being a Division I athlete, coach, and administrator, Renee is a strong academic, having earned her bachelor's degree from USC in sports information and broadcast journalism, a master's degree from the University of Oregon in interdisciplinary studies, and a PhD from the University of Oregon in education policy and management. Her brother, George Mack, is a proud Santa Clara alum and was a member of the Broncos golf team, and her niece will be a freshman at Santa Clara this fall. I would now like to introduce our president, Father Michael Ng, who will introduce Dr. Baumgartner. As president, Father Ng understands the value that athletics play in providing a holistic education, education of the mind, body, and spirit. As we enter into a time of unparalleled growth for Santa Clara University, Father Ng's establishment of a Blue Ribbon Committee to help elevate our athletic program at Santa Clara has helped position us to take significant strides toward a more robust athletics program. And I offer from a first-hand account that Father Ng has been extraordinarily engaged in this exciting period for athletics and is, easy, is eager to continue this momentum toward a bright future. We are fortunate to have a passionate, kind, and thoughtful leader at Santa Clara along with his eminently strong cabinet. It has been a significant honor to have worked alongside him on various athletics projects throughout the years and particularly over the past few months. He is wonderfully supportive and a Bronco through and through. Ladies and gentlemen, the 28th president of Santa Clara University, Father Michael King. Welcome to everybody. Glad to have you here as we uh, welcome uh, Dr. Baumgartner as our new athletic director. Uh, she comes to us at an important time in uh, athletic history here at, at Santa Clara. And as uh, Jeffrey mentioned, it was two years ago that I had formed the Blue Ribbon uh, Task Force on Athletics. And of the 12 members of that task force, six of them had played athletics here at Santa Clara. They were alumni and they played. The committee was chaired by John Michael Sobrato. And they made a series of recommendations to the Board of Trustees, which were carefully investigated by the trustees and laid out in terms of such a way that we can better position Santa Clara in terms of intercollegiate athletic competition. Uh, among the recommendations were that there would be an alignment between the, uh, the athletics and the university as a whole. And to that end, the uh, athletic division now reports to the president directly. Dr. Baumgartner will report to me, be a member of my cabinet. This is a small change here at Santa Clara. First and secondly, they, uh, they recommended that we would fund our program on a more competitive basis, and I'll have a few words to say about that near the end of my remarks. That we promote a, an elite non-football athletic program at Santa Clara, and that we do this in a manner consistent with our Jesuit values and with the standards of the NCAA and all rules of compliance. So we found that uh, Dr. Bar Baumgartner has that uh, the experience, the ability, the integrity, and the drive needed to lead our Department of Athletics to fulfill these recommendations. And as has been mentioned, she's been an NCAA Division I student athlete. She's been a coach. She's an effective administrator with multiple years of executive experience in intercollegiate athletics, both at Oregon and at Syracuse. Uh, along with these accomplishments, Dr. Bob Gartner's academic credentials underscore her deep appreciation for one of the bedrock values here at Santa Clara, and that is every student that comes here is guaranteed an excellent education and the opportunities in for uh, participating here in a strong athletic program. Uh, 
I selected her because on the basis of recommendations made by our, the, the five member uh, search committee that was chaired by Professor Patty Simone. Patty has served on the, uh, the athletic advisory board. That's how I first came to be aware of her great interest in athletics. And she comes to us uh, as a member of the faculty. I chose a five member uh, committee because I wanted to underscore that these are students who are student athletes who start as students and so that we want this integration between athletics and academics to be very strong. And so we look then at Renee's unique abilities and experience, her, her educational accomplishments, her competitive drive, and her commitment to our Jesuit values. We had, very, we had a strong applicant pool. We had very finely qualified finalists, who, and we noted then that uh, Dr. Baumgartner came here with, from a program that's recognized for its ex excellence. And it's for all of these reasons that I invited her to become our next athletic director. I gotta point out too that our, our, our process for the search committee involved members of the regents, of the trustees, of the alumni, of the Bronco bench, of coaches, of, uh, of friends of the university uh, and the, uh, the faculty and administrators. This was a, a broad uh, process. It was uh, one that was inclusive and it's one that paid careful attention to the Santa Clara traditions here of excellence in academics and in athletics. Their input was really significant and really helped me in making the decision that needed to be made. And finally, the university is following the direction of the trustees and increased its athletic department budget support. That was one of the things, one of the recommendations. In the past academic year, we raised uh, support for the athletics by $700,000. In the current academic year, we're adding another $485,000 in budget increases. And with the help of the trustees, we've also established a Bronco Athletic Investment Fund with initial commitments of $3.2 million. In addition, to allow our coaches to spend more time coaching, teaching, and recruiting, I've asked Renee to relieve them of some of their fundraising responsibilities so that in the current, this new fiscal year, starting as of July 1st, we will provide an additional $500,000 in resources for the operating budget of athletics. So for those who think that the university is not serious about athletics, this is news. We're quite serious about athletics, and we're now looking then for extraordinary results as we free up our coaches to do their job, to really coach and to bring our teams into winning positions. As we, <laughs> so as I close, I also want to thank one of our regents, Jack Krivik, who's here. He's helped us with our relationship with Nike, and I see you sitting right over there, so I'm gonna call you out on this. He's helped us with our relationship with, with Nike, this has resulted in a long-term all-sport deal for Santa Clara. This is a first, and Jack, we want to say thank you publicly for your role in this. <laughs> and I, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge Jeff Mitchell for his extremely hard work as the interim athletic director. He stepped in, he's shown a great hard work, loyal dedication, and a willingness to take on multiple responsibilities, not only to do his current work, but then to work also as the interim athletic director. So I'm very grateful for Jeff for his work. <laughs> so finally, I want to thank all of you for turning out here today to, uh, to support Renee and the Santa Clara Athletics. Your continued support of her and our program will guarantee the success of our student athletes generate a spirit of excellence and enhance Santa Clara's national prominence. So, with that, it's my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Renee Baumgartner. Good morning. Thank you, Father, for those kind words warm welcome to Santa Clara University and to the Bronco family. To begin, I'd like to introduce my family to all of you. My husband, Scott. <laughs> and my two daughters, Ellie and Abby. Thank you for your love and support. It is a pleasure and a privilege to be here today. 
I'm humbled and blessed, and this is truly a dream come true. I would like to express my deepest appreciation to Father Ng, John Ottaboni, and to Patty Simone, the chair of the search committee, and the search committee members for this incredible opportunity. I would also like to recognize Todd Turner and Pam Overton from Collegiate Sports Associates, whose efforts in the past few years have had a tremendous impact on Santa Clara University. I am honored to serve as the next director of intercollegiate athletics. I'm excited to join the Santa Clara and I'm committed and focused on the betterment of all student athletes at this historic and renowned university. The student athletes, coaches, administration alumni, and Jesuit mission at Santa Clara University embody the ideals I've held throughout my life and my career. My journey in Division I intercollegiate athletics began over 30 years ago when Kathy Bright, thanks coach, offered me a scholarship to play golf at USC. My four years of experience as a student athlete and captain of a nationally ranked golf team gave Bill Byrne, the director of intercollegiate athletics at the University of Oregon at the time, the confidence to hire me as a GA and coach the women's golf team. Thank you, Bill Byrne, for believing in me. In my early 20s, I realized I wanted to be a Division I athletic director. Over a decade later, Bill Moose, the director of intercollegiate athletics at the University of Oregon, gave me the opportunity to coach the golf team and be the senior woman administrator. As a coach and administrator, I have always focused on enhancing and providing an optimal student athlete experience. Brandy and I can attest to how our experience as student athletes has stayed with us throughout our lives, with our family, friends, and throughout our careers. As I start my new role at Santa Clara, I believe in establishing a student athlete culture that delivers a cohesive, healthy, and well-rounded experience. In addition to instilling a passion of lifelong learning in the students, I hope to be a change agent for Santa Clara, and I believe my effort to evaluate it and help with the effort to evaluate and continue the strong reputation that we have throughout the, the country. My experience as a Division I athlete, coach, and administrator has provided me with a perspective that I have believed will help foster a strong, passionate, and visionary athletic department. This is what you can expect from me. I will lead and manage an athletic department that is first class and represents this university. There will be a commitment to excellence in academics and athletics, honesty and transparency, integrity, fiscal responsibility, and a commitment to diversity and inclusion. You can expect a leadership through effective decision making and staff empowerment. You will see a passion for Santa Clara and the athletic department and a tireless focus on the values, vision, and mission of this university. As Jack Welch, the former CEO of General Electric said, a leader's job is to look at the future of an organization, not as it is, but as it should be. With Santa Clara's impressive facilities, supportive administration, incredible coaches, this university is poised to welcome the best of the best of student athletes to this beautiful campus. My life was transformed as a student athlete I know I transform lives as a coach and administrator, and I will look forward to transforming the athletic department and student athletes' lives at Santa Clara with all of you. Thank you for the warm welcome, and go Broncos. This Stevens Soccer Center raises the bar for Santa Clara athletics, sends a loud and clear message that we're ready to compete with anyone. For the, the current players, I think they're going to have everything that they need. They're going to have a, a place where they can um, relax, a place that they uh, feel um, treats them in the manner that they should be treated.